Hello! Welcome back to East Groningen. Okay, September 5, this is the last day of September. This will be episode 6 and technically this is the end of my Let's Play here on East Groningen. But I don't think that I've made all that much of an impression here in Holland. The Netherlands even. <laughs> I've not made that much of an impression. We still got these bales to pick up, I forgot about that. And we still got that field to plough. Also forgot about that. <laughs> Wonder if I can get GPS to work properly this time. <clears throat> the only thing that's happened between the end of the last episode and the start of this episode and that is lag. No, <laughs> we do have lag. Is I've tweaked this workshop shed. So now, when we scooch into here, we have the dealer workshop. Because obviously there isn't one on the map. So we now have one on our farm. Because why not? Who's to say I can't go in my workshop and respray my tractor? Hmm? Hmm? Nobody. Therefore, it's a thing. Well, if it wasn't, it is now. There's space around here, we're not even utilising it. <coughs> this thing, I'm pretty sure that's out of silage, isn't it? But yeah, yeah. Out of the silage. I haven't washed up, I haven't done anything since the last episode. Have a quick check of the cows. We have 21. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Milk, straw, we have 29,441 litres of slurry. And then we have some manure in the pit. Which is awesome. So we do need to pick these hay bales up because the cows are just munching away on them. Uh, I have tried all manner of things. I've even opened that cow bar in Giants Editor. To try and get the the animal grazing to work. Yeah, I can't get it to work. So, not happening, unfortunately. I mean, unless I find another cow barn that does the same that looks like that one, or I literally strip that one down and and like rebuild all the um, all the mesh and stuff. It's yes. For a mini series, that's too much like hard work. <coughs> Now, should I continue on this series? Uh -huh. Because, you know, I'm really enjoying this. You're probably going to get a load of these videos back to back. Because I'm absolutely loving this map. Uh, I have sent DS... No, I have not DS power. The wrong map. Northeast modding. I've sent the guys a message. Uh, because I have said there's an update um, for this map. That they're, they're putting together but there's no news or information on when or if it's even coming about hence the uh, the workshop trigger there that I've I've implemented myself so yeah it is what it is all right let's just have a quick check of our productions this morning uh, for you that aren't aware, the sale point is called BGA. There is a sale point at the BGA. It's not the BGA, as far as I'm aware, because that should come up as biogas plant. So, and then sensations four. Yes, just a lot of little snaggy bits on here, which are a little bit. Uh, yeah, so BGA is our sale point. Biogas plant is the biogas plant. So. Yeah, that's our sale point that we've put in for other things like the herbicides and stuff. So that's where we're at. I mean, the TMR on there doesn't look great, does it? But they're not eating a load of that. So uh, we could put another trailer full of that in, I suppose. <coughs> we do need at some point to grab ourselves a, um, a straw blower trailer thing. 
Just had a quick shifty to see if any of um, Pepe's mods have appeared in here. Apparently, if I'm going to lime on these two fields, I've got to supply my own equipment. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca and Alexis say, no, you, you use your own stuff, mate. The same for the rolling. There's a lot of rolling contracts, considering I've got periodic rolling turned off. I'm sure I've got periodic rolling turned off. Uh, periodic rolling off. Which is why it hasn't popped up with needs rolling or anything silly. Yeah, we've still got to plough this field out. Oh, darn and dag and nab it. <coughs> right, where do we start today? Should we grab the fence? <laughs> the fence, they're all fence, we've got three of them. We'll grab the GTA 3A. We'll grab these hay bales. Should we chuck them straight in here? It's size that we need. Where's our... Where's the... Oh, the big boy's on the plough, isn't it? We'll grab this guy for now. No, we won't. Yes, we will. We'll get him started. And then we'll... Drop this trailer. <coughs> yeah, for all of you that aren't aware, this is a in-cab styly. So, uh, Oh, we bought the milk tanker on the last episode, if you're wondering where that's gone from. We want to go in there. We want to go in there... I'll grab that weight before I forget where it is. You should know what I'm like. I will forget that I've put it somewhere. And in fairness, it took me half an episode to work out that I'd lost it. So, you know, well, I'm sure I had a weight on there. <laughs> I was like, did I? Didn't I? No, dude, you really did. You had a weight and you just lost it. Because you use an oink. Alright, let's grab this, fill it up. And we'll top up the cows. I'm a little bit skew with on here, aren't I? There we go. <coughs> and then we'll get this. Fill in with your finest TM and the R's. We do need more silage, so I mean, decisive whether we're going to buy some more. We're probably going to have to buy some more, let's be honest. We could just dash the, um. We could just dash the hay that we have on our field straight into the cow barn. So, should they run out of TMR, we can, um. Yeah, we can just let them graze on the hay. That's why I was hoping that that animal grazing mod was going to work. But, uh. Oh. Tell you what we is gonna do. Uh, we is going to clear that room so those all arrows disappear. There we go. Yeah, although this was supposed to be a mini series, I'm really enjoying it. Um, as far as I say, you're probably gonna get a good few episodes on here. <coughs> She's hungry. And actually got a flea up her backside. Yeah, I didn't cut any of the grass round here. Um, yeah, it was a bit. I mean, I could go manually and, and drive round and cut the rest of the grass, but course play was like, yeah, it didn't even recognise the fact that I. caught the side of the cow barn with a feed mixer. <laughs> it didn't even fathom that there was a shed in the middle of the field. It was just like, yeah, there's a field there. Silly thing. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like horseplay and I think it's got its place, but sometimes, come on, guys. Right, that's that. I was hoping to drill something in that field today. 
but I don't think we're going to get time. I haven't even ploughed it yet. Let's... Let's move this milk tank out of the way. Let's stick it in this shed. What have I hit? And that really threw the train around. Oh, I've just caught that post. <laughs> I say just. I've smashed into it. I thought the bay was bigger than that. I was looking at the other posts, clearly. There it is. I can see it now. I can see clearly now. That's quite a narrow old hole, that one, isn't it? Is that any narrower than the rest of them, do you think? Probably not. <coughs> Am I, um... Just going to abandon that there. There that is. Out of my way. <coughs> we have... Yes, down there. We have a bale trainer. I'm sure we do. Or we just go around and pick up all the bales. At one point I did have the bale trailer up on the field. So that we could just... Put the bales on the trailer. That's what we do. We'll, 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 we'll leave that there for now. And if we need it, the tractor's right next to the trailer. Uh, that's pallet forks. Where's... Oh, that's right. We swapped out for a manure fork, didn't we? <laughs> well, I was just going to say, where's the, um, the bale spike? But we swapped out for a manure fork. Because why not? So we don't have a ba a, a ballot fork. We do. We don't have a bale spike. We have a manure fork. We probably should purchase ourselves a proper pallet fork. But, uh, yeah. Oh. It's because I got the weight on. It's got confused. It does that a lot lately. If you've got a weight on, you can't control the front loader unless you're on the front loader. It'll be easier with the trailer. Let's start down this end. And we'll grab this one because I was too much on the on the on the wobble for the other one. <coughs> Excuse me. See that one? Must have been. Let's square that up a bit. Pop the lights on just for a second. Just so I can see what I'm not doing. I got that barrel quite close to the bottom, didn't I? See, this is why I normally use the, the, the bigger spike, because A, you can grab more, although this little 95 horsepower tractor probably isn't designed, and we did try three or four the other day, didn't we, and they didn't like it. So, uh, yeah, we'll get these all in the mixing shed, I think. Although we do need to get that ploughing done, we need to start planting.
What's the planting window look like? Uh, oh, we can plant... <coughs> we can plant wheat and barley in October. I'm sure our soybeans are ready in October as well. <coughs> and it would be nice to do something that was not grass work. I think every episode so far has been grass work of some descript. <coughs> it might be easier with a trailer. Think. Let's spin that round. Poke those towards the floor. Don't want the cows harpooning themselves on that, do we? Let's just leave it there for a second. <coughs> and let's see if I can actually get this GPS to work. Please create or load a track first. Now this is the issue I had last time, wasn't it? Remember, we all went south. Line method A and B. That's what I normally do. A and B. Well, I've seen people use A in headland, A in direction, A in heading. We come out of there, set the width, and then drive forward point A. The point B, create a low track. Why is it not? Allowing me to do point A and point B. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I'm well off. I was just trying to get the, um, GPS working. For some reason it won't let me do point A and point B, it will do point A and heading and it will do point A and um, direction. But for some reason it won't do point... Yeah, no idea. Pass, I have no idea. Wub wub. Right. Lift it up. Rotate that. Have I got a weight on this tractor? If so, I don't think it's overly heavy. <laughs> Is that going to catch all of that? Yes, yes it is. Now, I'm not sure whether that's like that because we've messed up somewhere. Did we mess up somewhere? Have I not done something I was supposed to have done? Um, let's find out. We'll try it this way. That seemed a lot of overlap. I'm sure we had this better last time. <laughs> oh no, that is, that is where I want it. That is where I want it. <laughs> it's just me being me. Do think up and down that way would have been better? Who knows? I like the way that the um, or not as the case may be. 
how um, the, the, the field edge literally goes right up to the little dike. If that's what you want to call it. You have to tidy up those headlands, don't we, eh? <coughs> I'm guessing that our big field, our soybean field, is going to require some sort of plowage at some point as well, to be honest. What are we going to plant in here? This could be our corn field. I can't remember now. I can't remember. It may have may have been our cornfield, you know. <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah. So how are you guys enjoying this in-cab long play episode series so far? Eh? <coughs> I am... So the only thing that would make this series better would be if I dug my uh, steering pedals back out of the cupboard. Or well, for me, anyway. I'm not sure about you guys. It doesn't make a difference for you guys. <laughs> but for me, yeah, that's what will make this better for me. As if I was using my steering wheel and the pedals. Which I am not. Um, yeah, the wife and I have done a, a bedroom shuffle with the boys, and uh, yeah, we just don't have space. Let's go back in the cupboard for now. Which is what it is. Yeah, this field could have been a bit longer, couldn't it? <laughs> so get some decent runs on it. Well, we may plough that bit the other way around. Yes, we probably should have ploughed all the way the other way around. Getting the hang of this now, aren't I? Eh? <laughs> yeah. So we might have to move that trailer to the field to get the hay bales off. It's a shame you can't remove that piece of concrete. <coughs> I've really got a frog in my throat this morning. Just to annoy me, that's all it is. It's just to annoy me. Oh, this is our leased tractor. I'm just thinking we own this tractor. We don't. This is the tractor we've leased to own. At some point, don't fall down the ditch. Let's get rid of that map. It's in the way. It's in the way, so it is. <coughs> yeah, I'd like to get this, at least this field prepped before the winter so we can get. Well, corn's March, isn't it? <coughs> or was it April? Let's have a quick look. Corn is April. We're going to need one of these. Our soybean, we've got the, the, the mod to allow 
straw from soybean. So we get some bean straw. I was going to plant wheat or barley. We do need corn for the thing. Pass. Have I rotated that already? Yes, I did. Probably should have looked from this side. I can see where the furrows were going, but <laughs> such an idiot. Oh yeah, this is at this speed at the the the, the duration of of um, gameplay that we've we've gone for the five days at times ten. This is this little bit of field. This is a day's work in itself. Now, the fact that it's a semi-realistic in-cab type dilio. Not sure why I put GPS on there. I want GPS on now. There we go. Yeah. It, it kind of works because this probably would be a day's worth of ploughing with this, this, this plough. Do you know, I I prefer what I would what I would describe as a traditional plow one of these kittens than the uh, than the chisel plow. What happened there? Was that me being silly? I don't think I was far enough over when I started the GPS just now. Oh. Uh, probably wasn't quite far enough over when I started the GPS. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to know why. Oh, maybe it's just not long enough. The run's not long enough. If I'd run that way, A and B may have worked. But uh, maybe that's what it is. The run just wasn't long enough to 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 get the B to pop up. It is what it is. I'd like to see in October though whether or not we actually get a discount by buying this through the lease to buy thing. Um, because we we purchased the um, the Fent 900 Vario, the the one we used for the feed wagon just now. We purchased that on the HP, and um, we never got a discount. But I'm thinking maybe that's because we purchased it in the same in-game month, and uh, we didn't get any any. Um, bonus or, or or discount because of that that's what my theory anyway I have heard others mention the same thing so uh, yeah alright it's almost lunchtime. We definitely need to get those bales moved. We do have a bit more of this done, but we need to get those bales moved. And we need to head to the store. And we need to grab ourselves um, some more silage. Because currently we are not producing any more TMR. Because we're out of silage. And uh, the reason we're out of silage, if you remember correctly, is because Muggins here tedded that field rather than bailed the straw. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm an idiot. Back this up a little bit. Lower it down. So how are we looking? Yeah, reasonably straight. <laughs> I've got to get quite close to this edge up here, near the top, just here. 
I'm going to have to try and come down the field to get this bit because I couldn't get it coming up the field because the front drops into here. So I have to try and get it going down the field and then all these tufts here need to plough out. And that's literally, look, it's right on the edge of this wet stuff. So, uh, I think this will make a half decent corn food. Corn yields pretty well and it's basically for the um, TMR mixer. But I want to be pretty self-sufficient. So, anyways, that's a bit more ploughing done. We've got until March, we're only in September. We might take the weight off of that for a second. No, I can't. There we go, let's take the weight off of that. Just leave it there. That's probably messed up the GPS now, isn't it? Because <laughs> I've taken that off. Um, I was thinking about adding in some more cell points to this map. Um, yeah, but not paying for them, if that makes sense. Like Missy B, she may, you know, she may want to invest in uh, Gonagan, and she may want to help out the locals in relation to their um, animal byproduct requirements, and somewhere that they could. You know, offload, shall we say, said animal byproduct requirements. What I'm hinting at is, I'm tempted to add a Missy B slurry yard <laughs> to the map and then give myself the money back. Because, yeah, why not? I'm also tempted to add in uh, auto drive because the AI splines don't seem to work and the the traffic the traffic the um, the peoples oh where am I going? I need to ooh just ooh Twenty-three grand, sixty-seven percent off. I'm sure we have one of those. I sold it at the beginning of the let's play. Then there's an itty bitty. That's we do need a pickup at some point. There's an itty bitty uh, flegel that I fell in love with the other day, and I was like, we need to get that. There it is. Oh, but it's forty grand. That's right. That's why we didn't get it yet. But if I open it up. Look at that little bit of cuteness. I mean, look at it. Just, just look at it. Cuteness. No? Well, I think it's cuteness. It's like it's Big Brother, but look. And then you've got the Beat Ninja slightly further down here. Cuteness, right? Should we, should we, should we buy that? And then if we need to sell it on... Cause we can put silage in there, can't we? Only twenty three for twenty six thousand. Uh, we could use that for collecting grass rather than bale it to put in our mixer thing. I mean, we have a baler. What do you think? I quite like baling, to be honest. But that makes more sense. No, no. Our thing does take bales. 23, 5. Well, that just takes... You know what? Let's grab our little tiny one up here. Let's grab this. And we shall... We'll lease this and we'll purchase it at some point. Two grand. So we'll lease that. Because that takes everything, right? So we can grab some silage, bring that back to the yard. Then we also put poop in there. 
and sell it. And at some point, we'll um, yeah. So let's head down to the store. Head to the store, grab some silage, come back, move those bales. Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying to move something and clonk some wakes down instead. My apologies. So you're going to hear a foot of. Because why not? So that's a trader and a tractor that we're going to have on HP at the moment. Uh, we haven't made any money from anything <coughs> currently. Although we should be making a couple of quid here and there from the biogas plant because we should be auto selling the. Um, we should be auto selling the, the methane and the electricity. So that should just be selling. The digestate is just sat there, which is why Missy B may come to town and. Um, invest her own hard home cash <laughs> if you get my meaning so yeah she may invest there's an area just down the end here it's like a roundabout type thing and she may invest in that sticker slurry yard down there oh we will take that back today don't really forget to take that back today that's why we were we were going to wrap. That's why we going to the thing. We we're going to wrap the bales, were not we? I remember now. I don't. Know. Yeah, we were going to bale it and wrap it for silage, rather than a bunker thing. All right, let's grab ourselves some pallets of silage. It's probably cheaper to um there they are. one, two, three, four, five. It probably works out cheaper. That's big, is it? It's cheaper to buy bales. Why can't I steer this for start with? And second with, why won't it let me pick the silage up? It does say silage. I'm sure it says silage on the list. It says everything. trailers it says it accepts everything so you know what that means don't you that means the store is going to need some sort of one of these doohickeys so this will be our long term lease at the store I think. Now, if I pick it up, it might just be that it's too low. But sometimes it does that. Yeah, it's just too low. That's all it is, it's just too low. Let's 
it's not unloading very fast though, is it? <laughs> Just at the trailers a little bit. Right, while that's doing that, let's have a quick look at bale spikes. Now the one we had before, which was the hydraulic one, which I absolutely love, um, doesn't seem to. Oh, we got that one. I forgot about that. Two prongs, five prongs, front loader, and we can get that in fent. Well, a fent ish. Should we grab that? Let's see if that's any better. And then our manure fork. Because we now have a few. This one. We'll sell that. Because that don't seem to be working any use. I'll have to bring the other, the other tractor down here to pick that up before we collect the bales. Oh. If it wasn't for the fact that these are ridiculously heavy, I'd have picked up two. Oh, walked into the thing. While that's filling up, let's... He's here, isn't he? We'll jump in here. Let's run this guy down to the, the store. Grab that bale spike. Watch out, boys. I'm coming through. Man on a mission. <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys think about this this series. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I am hooked. So this will be like the sixth episode that I've recorded, um, and because I, I like to record in advance where possible. So this will be like episode six, and I think whilst I'm recording this, episode one is out. So, <laughs> whether you like it or don't like it, tough. I'm absolutely in love with this. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you're just going to have to with it because I like it. But if you don't like it, tough. Oh, sorry, little girl. Is, yes, yeah, the moral of the story there. If you don't like it, <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. Um, yeah. This sort of thing in cab styly isn't my. Well, it isn't generally my cup of tea. Oh, while we're here, while I remember. <laughs> The trigger for the fuel is literally right up here by the by the shop. There we go. Look. Let's pull in here. Grab some diesels. Have I driven past the trigger? Have I literally just rolled out with the trigger. Oh, this this pump got diesel. Because the other one didn't. There we go. 32 of your finest euro for diesel. So it's literally that very last pump by the store, by the shop, by the um, kiosk. If you please. Is, uh, yeah. 
is where the diesel is at. So, uh, yeah. So when you get those bales collected, uh, if we can get any more, um, if we can get any more ploughing done, great. If we can't, not the end of the world. We do need to bring that back. We'll bring that back with this, I think. Uh, let's grab another pallet. Do we get to let me lift two? We'll open these forks all the way. Now I know that this is a heavy old forklift. And the reason I always go for this one when I'm using the farm supply pallets is because it can. It can lift them. But uh, yeah, doesn't generally like it. As soon as I can get this guy out of the way, I can pick up that fork, connect the doohickey, and then we can get all this back to the yard. Then we could use this trailer to pick up the poop and take that down to our BGA. What we got in the BGA at the moment? BGA. I've got loads of um, contracts that's popped up. Uh, 18 grand for wheat, grass, wool. Wow, 129,000 litres of wool to the BGA before time expires. <laughs> syrups. What is syrups? I have no idea what syrups is even, so that ain't happening. I can't. Oh, I could buy some. 22. We could buy some of that. Couldn't we? If we bought some wheat, we need to take 22,000 litres of wheat to the BJ. So if we bought it in from the farm supply pack, that's going to cost us five grand. So we'll still make money on that. Won't we? Time is ticking. Let's accept that. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it actually works. Where is it? Right at the top. There we go. Oh. Let's grab this last pallet of this. Head this back to the thing. We need to get a move on now, don't we, eh? Grab this. Oh, I hate the way he does that. Um, I don't think it likes this one at all. Oh, for the love of crumble. <sighs> Just one. Well, we we're back down to that one else. Do you think the CSZ ones would work? And that one's. Should just. Little tips. Front loader. Three and three and three. At this rate, I'm going to be asking for my money back. Now, will it connect to this one? Yes, it will. Does it look stupid? Mm, not really. It's doing that wobbly thing again. There's not a lot that this front loader actually likes, is there? 
it was doing that with the hydraulic one and then it would stay diagonal and I couldn't pick the bales up which was ever so slightly annoying now the issue I've got here is I'm going to have to drive one of them and then you follow me and then you follow me to take that one back because the AI splines don't work and because the AI splines don't work oh, I can't set a worker to scooch back Bear with, my phone's going off. Right. That's... That's heavy, is it, eh? Listen to her growl. She's not happy. She doesn't want to stop either. Well, look how cute that is. <laughs> Such a child. No, I don't want to get in there. I want to jump in here. the beacon on. We're going to need a beacon. Yeah, I'm not sure why it does that wiggly thing. It didn't do it with the front manure, the fent manure fork. Let's put that back on. That is following. So, maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe this front loader just doesn't like anything but what comes in the pack, maybe. I, mean, I can't remember in the pack with it now. Nothing, there was nothing in the pack with it. I use a different pack to um, grab the manure fork. That was from the French GT255 pack. The 380 pack, you get the front loader and then you get the tank for. Um, water and stuff and you get the um, the, 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 the little tipper trailer thing <laughs> but you don't get any attachments um, there's another one of these Fent um, 380s kicking about the place and um, that doesn't even come with the front loader that just comes with a couple of tanks I think it was a tank and a tipper trailer, a tipper box for the front. Come on, we do um, get all this back to the yard. Get that silage in the thing to mix me some TM and the R's. And then I need to collect the bales, we need to drop that off. Go back to the store, purchase some wheat. So we can drop that off, act as a middleman, a Dell boy, if you will. This time next year, Rodney, we'll be millionaires. Yep. And as Grandpa will say, uh, Granddad will says, one day Millwall will win the cup. Madness, pure madness. Let's turn that off. Let's stop that there. Stop that there. This thing has really confused my tractor. Why can't I detach that?
as apparently it's not attached. It really is. Oh, what that one about? <sighs> no idea what's going on with that. Thank you, AI worker H. Oh, listen to her roar. She's not a happy kitten, is she, eh? Come on, girl. You can do it. You can do it. I'm hoping it's a pushy type one. Yes. This may work for the straw. <laughs> Not that I can get the straw in it, mind, but it may work for straw. Oh. Unless, of course, I can pop straw. Um. Unless I can pop straw, sorry, my the wife was messaging me. Unless, of course, I can pop straw in the silo. No, this is what I said about the hay barn, wasn't it? Not sure how to get that off of there. I might have to remove manual attached for 30 seconds, just so I can get the weight off. And then detach the other bit and reattach the weight. Sometimes you get little glitchy bits like that on, on FS if you're, you're not already aware. In fairness, if you guys are watching uh, my channel, I'm assuming you're um, affluent in the world of farm sim. <laughs> Says I, who plays on console, telling you the ins and outs of um, Telling you the ins and outs of PC farming. Like I'm the king of the berries. No, no I am not. I am just a man who really enjoys his farms. Almost the wife likes to call me just a child in a man's body. <laughs> I thought she loved me. <laughs> we have kids together and everything. Who's what it is. When I get up in the morning, she's always there looking at me. So <laughs> Small things. No, she hasn't suffocated me with a pillow yet. Give her time, give her time. <laughs> I'm bound to do something wrong. No, I love it a bit. She's my best friend. So, anyway, that's enough of me. Going all soppy over the missus. Let's bite ourselves some bags of wheat. Uh, I've gone past it. Barley, canola, please tell me there's wheat. I'm sure there's wheat. Wheat. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I only need 22,000. I don't need the rest of the wheat, so. We shall probably just sell that anyway. So there's 3,000 litres of wheat we're going to sell. Excuse me. 3,000 litres of wheat we're going to sell. And the rest of it's for the contract. I hate it when it does that. See, the wheat's too heavy. <laughs> Don't think that's caught that. No. This is what I'm saying. Some stuff, like the silage, clearly. You can... Yeah, you can lift up a couple, but a lot of things, like the wheat, you, you can't. Let's check on this contract. How long we got left? 
We've got ages left. Let's get this done. It's a few extra quid, right? Bring those forks in a little bit. It does not like this palette, does it? What makes that palette so special? Alright. <clears throat> a shame that that trade is a little bit high. That probably means it won't pick up the trigger for the manure either. Berries. Oh well. We shall work that out when we get that far. I almost installed a mod the other day which allowed me to turn that down. That beep. And then I didn't. I thought, why would I want to turn that down? I tell you why, because a lot of things like this, they're loud. <laughs> right, let's get this in here. Unload speed and these parrots are really slow. It's a shame I can't lift two of these. If I can lift two of the, um, the silage, but only one of these. Is what it is. And this doesn't lift high enough to tip it over the top. Oh, this little bit of cuteness. I'm glad it's only least we might have to sell it. <laughs> it's ideal for the straw. Oh. Not that we can get straw in there, mind. But should be be able to it's yeah we'll bail the straw we'll bail the straw we'll grab ourselves some sort of straw chipper type thingy I can't know what's called straw blower uh, that reminds me of the old um short circuit I think it's a second short circuit film where Johnny Five's in the woods and he's um, reenacting um, Three Stooges with um, the other guys okay, number two number four number seven I think they are and uh, they're doing the little bit of slapstick and uh, he's there um, having a, a chin wag with him as it were and uh, he turns around to one and uh, he says to him your mother was a snowblower and then uh, yes not sure how many of you guys are old enough to know any of that or how many of you guys have even watched short circuit for that matter To the BJ. Come on, girl, you can do it. <laughs> Hopefully. So, what beacon on this? I'm sure I got a beacon on this. I need to drive past them and see if it's. Have I not got a beacon on this? 
I do. There we go. There you go, beacon's on. <laughs> like, I'm sure I've got a beacon on there. Not sure whether that trailer is just really heavy or 25,000 litres of wheat is too much for a 200 odd horsepower tractor. I wonder if the other fan would have pulled it easier. The, um, this is the old school 9. I'm sure this is a 9 Vario. Um, but the old school one. And the other one we got on lease is the new school one. So this is maxed out at 265 on your horses. The other one's at 336 currently. But that's upgradable to at 415, I think it is. So, uh, yeah, all we've got to do now is remember how to get to the BJ. Now, this. It's definitely heavy because um, the front wheels are scuffing. Um, this is this isn't one of those maps where you could um, uh, cheat and cut across fields because around pretty much every field there is some sort of ditch um, full of the wet stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah, there's no way you're going to be able to pull this through a ditch fully loaded like this so I mean there's a ditch right there so it's not like I'm going to cut across land is it it just ain't happening just to our right here is the seed potato processing packing facility <laughs> suck a little um um, what do you call it? A little guided tour, if you please. I I'm thinking it's got a little dark now to do any more field work. Whoa! I whoa! I got a feeling this trainer's catching those branches. I had that on Attinger Partner. They the um, I've got the modded nine meter. Um, the modded nine meter stone picker which is great um, but some of the overhanging trees that's what I'm going over there but some of the overhanging trees um, catch the um, the branches catch the branches no, the trees don't catch the branches the arms catch the branches Oh, so this is just in the trigger. Oh, we'll sell the rest of it as well. Let's just sell it all. Uh, 1,791 sold. And 72 euro of the um, Good Farmer Score reward. Let me go into here. Go back to this. And 18,425. There we go. Money is up to 135951. Any more? With a few bailing contracts, and we do need some stuff. There's a lot of these as well. The good thing with these fertilizing contracts is the fact that if you lease the equipment, let's so say you lease this one, for argument's sake, just this one. And then you use that same tractor to do. And then you lease that one. 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 So you have all these tractors and all these fertilizer spreaders. Then you fill up the fertilizer spreader with a farm supply pack, which is cheap as chips. Let's, let's be honest. It's as cheap as chips. And then when you. What we're here. Let's check the BJ. 
Where's the trigger gun? There it is. And then when you return it, return the um, the trailer, they reimburse you full price for the lime, and you're using knockoff lime from the farm supply pack. I say knockoff, knockoff fertilizer. You're using fertilizer that's not. Yeah, it was split bags or something, so you get it cheap. If that makes any sense. We may have to leave this here for today. Because I'm not going to be able to see the plough or to pick up the bales. That may be October's job. There are some bailing contracts that we need to get done. Or that I'd like to get done. Rather than keep buying silage. We could just, you know, get some off contracts. The issue with that is, I think our soy will be ready in the morning. And that will need harvesting. We'll have to have a look. That darn light on that. Um, are you kidding me? What is your problem? Seriously? Oh. That's what I think of your car, mate. Now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The traffic on this map they don't play by any rules. Not even your um, your standard farm sim rules. Just none of them. <laughs> it's just madness. I know it's dark, but I've got my lights on. I've got my beacons on. I haven't got, you know, excessive amount of light on to bedazzle them. And he still drove into the side of me. Well, that's a lie. He drove into the side of the trailer. Therefore, I'd already gone past him. What are they like? Seriously. Well, end on a bit of shenanigans, I suppose. <laughs> I need to pick those bales up. Where's the entrance to our farm? There it is. Right, guys. I am going to leave it here for today. And the workout, I'll get that off of there that's gone through the weight. That's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, I'm going to leave it there for today. I shall sort that out. Then in the next episode, we need to collect these, uh, these barrels off the field. So, as always, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Each and every one of you, please. Take care. And I shall see you all in my next Excuse me. See you all in my next adventure. Cheers, guys.